Hey guys, it's Ellen here, and we're painting a simple, super fun, super easy doodle wildflower painting. Super easy. Any beginner can do this. If you can paint a dot or a stripe or a line, you can paint this. It's really goofy and fun. Um, I just use a couple brushes and you know, I go over this step by step. I'm just showing you how to practice paint this. You can make this super fun little cute little um, illustration. Um, also, please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And also check out my Patreon. I have um, ad free videos, weekly exclusive tutorials on Thursdays, um, traceables, reference photos, and live stream on the top tier with a download from me. Uh, once a month and in the live stream you can ask questions and I'll answer them and sometimes I'll give you a prompt where I give you the the design we're going to paint and we can kind of paint together and you know things like that you can check it out right here boop so without further ado let's get painting some flowers all right guys for this simple tutorial I'm going to go over supplies I have a piece of 7 inch by 10 inch 100% cotton cold press paper from Arch um, I have my paints here. I always have in the description box. I go over them as I use them. Paper towels. I'm going to be working with the Grumbacker number 8 Golden Edge Filbert brush and the Long Round number 4 Velvet Touch Series brush. We're going to be making simple shapes here. Very easy, simple flowers. Um, I'm going to take my Cadmium Yellow Deep and just a touch of this Peacock Blue. Oops, I have so much pigment over here. Let's make like a chartreuse kind of green. Let's grab some more yellow. This is going to be the center. So that's bright green. I'm going to add more yellow. Chartreuse is like a more yellow green. Okay. And we're going to make like the center part. Not too much water, but enough that it can soak in. Just going to make these simple, almost like dots of around the page here and that is going to be the center of the flowers you see I'm kind of moving around I wouldn't kind of make them all uniform you want to kind of sporadically throw them around put some right next right next to each other little half ones just kind of play around where they go on the page on the paper okay when that's done, we're going to let that dry. I've mixed up a couple of colors here already. Um, I have my uh, Ultramarine Blue here that I mix with some magenta. Get like a nice blue purple. Um, you can take magenta right by itself. Nice bright color. I got the brilliant orange here. We're going to use really some nice bright colors. But before we end, even started putting the color next to this, we're going to make sure this part is dry. So I'm going to dry this first and then come back. Okay, now that's dry, I'm going to come back. Because if it's not dry, you're going to have this bleeding mess. So now I take some of this paint here, minimal water. If it's excess, you just tap it on the paper towel. We're going to be holding it kind of like a pencil. We're just going to kind of push down and kind of pull up. Push down and pull up. See like that? This is a little, right? You got a little petal there. Same thing here. You're just kind of gently touching it and turning it. And you get some nice petals. Because it has a nice, you can twist it too. You can go like, connect it. I'm adding a little more magenta in that one. See that? Simple little round petals connecting. them on top. You want to add some deeper color, you can go ahead and do that. See? Just like that. Well, you can actually do the opposite too. You can do the petals first. Leave a space for your center. Again, grab this paintbrush, get some of that purple, get some more blue here. Doot, doot. 
No, the way you hold it too, you can make different um, petals. Hold it inside, you get these like daisy like petals. See that? You're not even working that hard. Twist and turn. Twist and shout. Just like that. The key is to play with the brushes, right? And then also color. You gotta play around with color. See, I'm holding it inside. So we have some dotted ones, we have some other ones that are like more like a daisy. Just by holding the brush differently. <laughs> right? We're gonna make a whole bunch of different colors. We got the I got this pretty brilliant orange here. You can do the same premise that you did with the ooh, that's intense. Purple, but make it a little bit thicker. Just like that. That's a pretty intense color. <laughs> I might have toned that one down a bit. You know. We already did the magenta. If you want to take some of that brilliant orange, mix it with magenta, and you get this nice pretty red. See that? Just do the little dots. Connecting. Making silly pretty flowers. Just like that. See, I'm moving like this and that and connecting it. Grab some more of this color, a little deeper. I can bleed some of it right there. Um, I have ultramarine blue. Just water some of that down. It's a pretty color. And you can do the same thing again. Put the ones that are next to here. Just add the petals. Gonna play around with brushes, guys. It's kind of a goofy brush to be doing these, but why not? And again, if I want to do without the center, just fill that in first. Then you can take the smaller one, number four. We'll start playing around with some greens. I mixed up some peacock blue with some yellow. I'm just taking the number four and we're going to go make some stems crisscrossing each other. Oop, that one bled into the blue. That's okay. See, I'm having fun here. Just pull them down. Right? You could put some leaves in there too, even just using a small brush. Just a little doodad leaves. Up and over. Like that. See? It's up. It's a jerk movement like this. Up, -ch. up, down, -ch. up, down. -ch. <laughs> with the sound effects too. Right? Some green like this. Again, up, down. And you get these simple pretty flowers. And you go back in like, okay, it's, even you can use a smaller brush. I still have the center there. Um, can put more yellow in there and even in here in the blue. Didn't have to use everything chartreuse. You could put some yellow centers kind of around here. It's nice to have a variety of big and small. So I might do a bunch of small little yellow ones going here, small little yellow ones going here with the small number four brush. And adding yellow to here, and there's a yellow one here. So again, with the other colors. 
get some more magenta what I understand you can play with adding some deeper tones to the center of that one and see I'm just basically adding like a circle see that just kind of wiggling a circle on top of those petals Add the yellow to make that red and again it's the deeper tone of this particular red just like that it's pretty simple if it dries you don't like it you can kind of push the paint around get some magenta over here you can put some small ones like a three petal flower here up over in here variety is the spice of life see adding little ones here some stems I'm going to grab some Prussian blue and mix it in with my green that I had before and some burnt ember and then connect that to these other yellow flowers that I put here see this is how you make a simple funny wildflower kind of pattern just a bunch of flowers very simple but if you do a bunch of them it looks really pretty right so I'm going to add some of this dark green stem crisscross it out here put some more stems out here crisscross it over here crisscross it in front of the flowers and then we'll add some more bloom to that grab my yellow here we go see crisscross it you want a variety of the greens and just adding some dark stems then you can take the small brush and you can grab some magenta or whatever color you want. Oh, get a little dirty there. I want to do some bright colors. I'll just grab some of the ultramarine blue, actually, and water it down and just put some simple, either circular shapes or like little zigzag shapes. See? A little ziggy zag. And it looks like little blooms. This is how I kind of create this just kind of goofy, fun, and free wildflowers. Really simple. I know I have that one <laughs> orange flower. He looks a little sad. He needs some friends. So we're going to grab it, give it some more friends. Mm, let's put some look orange down here, right? Maybe orange, little orange blossoms over here. They could be like the three circles, like I said, connecting, right? I kind of want to balance it out. Maybe add orange to these yellow centers here. So it has some friends. You want to kind of balance the colors. So it's really loose fun floral just go around and keep adding and adding and adding I'm adding some more purple here see to that first one I did some deeper purple and I'll put some purple over here it's always like a circular motion and I'll go back into the one I did here with a little brush And put some see just like these circles connecting circle circle 
just make these simple little blooms. Please don't tell me you can't do this. If you can make circles with the paintbrush, you can totally do this. Just kind of move around where you think the purple should go. See, circle, circle, circle. Mm, give a little friend over here. Really, really simple. Gonna add some more of those stems. See? Yeah. <laughs> it's up and over and down, up and over and down. The crazy leaves. That's what makes it so much fun. Just taking your brushes and just kind of pushing it around and putting the... And then we have this crazy wildflower field, right? All these bright, fun colors. Just kind of going everywhere. Super, super beginner, super easy. And then once these ones dry, you can go in with your yellow with a little bit of water. And just put it in the center. Really simple. You can go back over the chartreuse. I don't know if I like that one so much. But wherever you had placed a flower and didn't have a center, you can just go and add a little yellow center. Right? Purple here. You can put more little yellow flowers. Just as simple dots. Um, with the other ones, if you want to get even more creative, you get this little paintbrush. Outline it. So you take the paintbrush and outline it. See, and it's going to add a whole other dimension to it. I'm taking the magenta kind of right out of the color tube. Just making these simple outlines. And you have this fun flowers. It's very therapeutic, by the way. I know it looks kind of goofy and juvenile, but that's the whole point. It's supposed to be fun. I'm going to go back and grab my red. I can outline these ones. You can make ones that are just outlined themselves. I'll show you. Right, right. Like that. And then the orange. Just gonna fix that. Pretty colorful, right? <laughs> um, for the blue ones, you could go in and add some deeper blue tones and make it more in depth but not necessary. I'm going and adding some ultramarine blue, darker. I kind of like the pale blue. On these ones, it might add a little darker tone. Just doing like dots and dashes. There's nothing special. You know, I really like the ultramarine watered down. It's like a pretty color. Again, just put some little dots down here here. Do like a little cluster, some tiny flowers right there. Right down here. Right? And you could add the center. Get some green. Almost like a yellow green. I'm adding some yellow like this. Just going wild, guys. Then you can take the yellow and put it right in the center of the flower. Was that not the simplest thing to do? It really was. You want to get technical, you can add some deeper depth leaves. But really, it's just these movements like this that I love. I have a little splot there. And I missed a little dot there. But you go through it all and you figure it out. Oops. Water got on there. See? With the little centers, you can make this a little bit bigger. The chatouche looks good there. Some places it doesn't look so great. It's matting yellow. I think it's a lot of fun. It's kind of juvenile, but that's what I like about it. It's just supposed to be like a doodle to relax you. This just... The world is mad and sad 
and I just thought it would be nice to do something simple and easy and fun. See, I'm adding little branches to that one. And then I can go back in my little brush. I use the little brush more than I use the big brush. Isn't that funny? Um, do like a nice, I got the peacock blue with magenta. Let's see what kind of purple we can come up with that. Ooh, different kind of bluish purple. I do like the purple better with the magenta and the ultramarine, so I think I'll do that. Again, just little doodads. That's a dark color, huh? Just little dots. Nothing special. And that would be the final thing, guys. I'm just going to add some simple leaves just by kind of pushing down and pulling back. If it's off the paper, that's fine. You know, you want some wild and free. Wild and free. <laughs> I'm standing up. Yeah, I think I like it. It's just a little crazy and wild. It feels free and happy, doesn't it? We need to feel that. The world needs to feel free and happy. It's not free and happy right now. It's pretty sad. And so I'm going to try and create it and try and teach you how to create it <laughs> with paint. So here I'm just going to remove some of this paint. I'm going to go back to this magenta. Add a little bit of this yellow. Make it like a blush tone. I've made such a mess in my palette, but who cares? Take that color. Kind of put some of that over here. Play with this, guys. You know, it's supposed to be fun. Alright, should be fun should be frustrating. If you find yourself frustrated, then you need to step back and try something new and come back to it. Another thing you can do is some simple dotted flowers that are like, see this example. You get the center and then you just do little dots kind of around it like that. <laughs> Makes a cute little flower. So that's that. That's our Floral Friday. It's just a kind of a doodle, just to have fun, de-stress, get your mind off the news, which just makes me so sad and I don't want to think about it. Um, you know, as I, I'm not going to talk about it. Anyway, so yeah, de-stress during these crazy times. I want our, my fellow subscribers to enjoy their time painting, keep their troubles away, and concentrate on just creating some joy. See, I kind of keep adding this greenish yellow in places. So I hope you guys enjoy this little fun, goofy tutorial, and um, I hope you guys are having some joy. And if you're not, creating it with painting. <laughs> if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, yeah, and th uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed, and don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. Take care, guys, and happy painting. <laughs>